hi guys welcome and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time being here thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking on this video today I'm gonna start this video off by saying a quote from Thomas Edison that says I have not failed 10,000 times I have just found 10,000 ways that didn't work I say that quote because the first time I did DTF it was a complete fail if you have been following me for a while you will know that the only heat press that I own is a 9 by 9 Cricut heat press and that is what I use to do my HTV projects that's what I use to do my rhinestone projects I basically use it for every single project that I do including this shirt that I did a few months ago using the HTV hack on sublimation it is a sublimated shirt on a hundred percent cotton and I used a hack using clear HTV I could leave that video for you to see it however I went ahead and did another hack using sublimation using the DTF um, film and the DTF powder and this is the result so I used the same file that I did on this shirt I used it on this shirt now as I said I have failed at this so many times and the reason why I failed is because I have a 9 by 9 heat, heat easy press and it's kind of hard to cure the DTF powder when you apply it so the other day I went to the Dollar Tree and I found this I found a cooling rack and if I found a small baking sheet and this is what I used in this video in order to get the DTF film to cure just a rack and a small baking sheet no the other materials that I use I use this the Yamation the ya Yamation DTF film and this one it will tell you which side you're supposed to print on so here it tells you that you should print on this side I also use this DTF powder and I also use a lint roll so if that is something you're interested in just keep on watching okay guys so I'm going to do a DTF hack with sublimation so what I'm gonna do I'm going to go and get the design that I'm gonna be working with so today I'll be working in the Microsoft Word so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to insert I'm going to go to pictures and then I'm going to select the file that I'll be using so the one that I'll be using is this leopard print and I'm gonna use the SVG the SVG file not the SVG file the PNG file okay so this is what I have um, it's telling me that the height is 5.38 I'm looking over here now and the width is 6.5 so I'm gonna see how large I could get this so I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit more and I'm going to right click and I'm going to add tight this way I could move it around my paper so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my view down so that you could see exactly what I am doing so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch this heart out so that it fills the paper as much as it can. 
right now it's telling me my width is my width is 8.12 and my height is 6.71 which i believe it's okay i don't want it to be not proportional so i'm going to leave it like this now what i'm going to do i'm going to hit file and i'm gonna hit print and what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for the printer that I'm using. I'm using my ET2800 printer. And I'm going to press printer property. Now, when I press printer property, I'm going to go to a pre-test that I had. You want to ensure that this is on portrait mode. portrait mode, the paper type is premium presentation paper mat. The quality should be high and two-sided printing should be off. And ensure, go to more options and ensure that the mirror is on and I'm gonna press okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and print this out. And then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, guys, so I'm about to print it, but I want to show you um, the DTF transfer film that I'm using. I'm using that of Yamation. And when it comes, it's going to tell you what side you're supposed to print it. If you look right here, it tells you that this side is the print side. So you should know, based on the machine that you're working with, how you're going to load it into your machine. For me, I just take it and I put it in like this, with the print side facing up. And I'm going to use today the DTF powder from Jack Bohr. I hope I didn't butcher that name. And I am going to see how this turns out. So what I'm going to do, based on what I've tried before, stacking papers behind doesn't work. All I did was put my transfer film inside, hold on to it a little bit, and then it will just print out. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay guys, so after you have um, printed out your design, you should not wait until it's dry. You should go ahead and apply the powder. So what I'm using, I'm using a little med medicine cup and I am sprinkling the powder all over the design. Do not let your fingers touch the design or it is going to be smeared. Now I'm just going to shake it together so that it has, it is well coated. Now when you finish doing this step, um, the powder that is left, you're going to put it back in the container because that can be used for another time. Now, after that, I took my tray that I bought from Dollar Tree and I put my design in it. And then I put my cooling rack over and I placed my heat press on the cooling rack. Now, I did this. Um, I rotated more than once for 90 seconds each. And this is what it's going to look like at the end of it all. I kept rotating, rotating, rotating for 90 seconds um, so that it is well melted. Okay, guys, so you, so you see that it starts to melt now and the colors are getting more brighter, especially in this area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it over again. For a little longer just to see if I could get the sides to have um, for the powder to melt around the sides. Okay guys, so 
when I went and I did it, this is what I got. If you notice, it has melted. Almost all of the powder has melted. And all you need to do, the sides that are not, um, it, what is not as bright or vivid, try not to let the um, powder, try not to let the powder fall off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut around this. Okay guys, so you're gonna need um, heat tape. I'm using the Cricut brand and I'm going to put it on this tote bag, okay? This cotton tote bag. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lint roll first my tote bag. Just to get off any lint from it and I'm going to pre-press it. Just to get out the wrinkles. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my image. You can go ahead and find the middle of a tote bag. If that helps, if it, if that helps, I'm gonna do that. Let me just find the middle so I can match it up. Okay, so my middle is about here, and I'm gonna take my design. And since it's a heart, it's kind of easy to match up the middle. And I'm gonna put it down. Okay. And I'm gonna use my tape. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my parchment paper and I am going to press it. I'm do, using 345 degrees for 30 seconds. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait until this cools and then I'll see how it came out. Okay, guys. So now for the big reveal, let's see how this turned out. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow okay guys so at this stage you want to go and press it one more time with your parchment paper over it so that's what I'm going to do okay guys that is what I did in order to get this right here I will however try doing it on different um surfaces i'm going to try it on a hundred percent shirt and other things so if that is something you're interested in remember to subscribe hit that like button and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time i make a video until we meet i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>